Okay, so I, I will go quickly through the slides and I will show you the board. Yeah, so basically uh, this is our uh, uh, power bodies. So, and then this is our chatbot. So you'll go to Makan chatbot. And then, so our problem statement is that uh, because due to COVID situation right now, so a lot of inconsistent opening hours. So like, well, even though it's Google open, but when you go over there, it's, it's not open or that kind of thing. So we thought of building this board maybe with some uh, IoT devices, which I will explain more later. So, and also for maybe a lot of busy working adults. So when they go down to the hotel center, they see that, oh, their favorite store is closed or is, is it a lot of serving time? So, and also with some elderly with uh, working difficulties and also uh, there's tourists are not sure on our local culture. So to solve this problem, we have incorporated a few that uh, to create a chatbot that can search up nearby hawker centers and also tell you the waiting time. So by having the average serving time and also opening and closing hour of the hawker centers. Yeah, so uh, and also recommend you what to eat. So I think what to eat is a common problem for all of us and uh, quizzes on our local food just for fun and information. So our final goal is really to help the hawker center to have gradual improvement with our business and also for working adults or family to plan their lunch time or avoid some rush hours and also to get the tourists to know how to navigate around the Singapore, the local uh, hawker culture and also to get the elderly to have uh, enough information so that they don't walk to there and then the store is closed, right? Yeah. So this is basically our app. Okay, so hopefully you can see. So, uh, so this one basically, uh, th these are our main menus. So we have interpret a, a few functions like what to eat, list of hawker centers, nearby hawker centers, fun facts and quiz, FAQ and about us. So let me bring you through. So our UI UX basically we thought of using Bao. So when we started brainstorming, so we, our group thought of to use Bao because it's English is ban, right? So that's the simplest food in Asian food history and it's recognizable. So we wanted to show a color of excitement, okay? Because when we think about food, we are very excited, right? Because that's the most relaxed time we can eat and talk, right? So that's why we choose the red as our color. So for the what to eat, so basically when you click on what to eat, then you can choose on what kind of food that you want, the type of food. And then from here, you can have the opening hours and also the average serving time. All that information is displayed. For right now, it's of course, it's, uh, it's kind of like hard-coded. But of course, in future, we plan to have some uh, devices or maybe even an app so that the hawker, when they are open, they can just click on on so that it's reflected to the server and the server data is pulled on to this chatbot so that the real, the live information is, is uh, reflected. Yeah. Okay. And also the average serving time. So it's like the Google. So they have the peak hour or whatever. So from this, with time to time, we hope that it can uh, build up more uh, information on this, uh, whether it's peak time or not peak time, right? So and so list of hawker. So we incorporated uh, some uh, about, I think hawker center is about 110 in the Singapore, but right now we only have a few. So our teammate also went to different hawker center to take the, some of the store photos and so on to incorporate into our, uh, this chatbot. So that, and also the, for the hawker center perspective, we want to know whether it's open or closed for scheduled cleaning, right? Because every quarter they have the cleaning, right? Which I, I never know before, right? Yeah, so, and I also to have the Google map for easy navigation. Yeah, so that's why we incorporated that. And then nearby hawker, so this is very useful. So uh, for right now, I, I just incorporated a few of this where when you click on nearby hawker, then they will show you the, the hawker center and also the store at the hawker center, right? And then a street view. So I found out that I can incorporate some street view to, to show. And then, yeah, this is a quiz where I think a lot of my friends and family, they like this quiz because there's a PowerPoint that we incorporated can be used for discount, right? So it's not just by answering questions, but they can gain some loyalty points or whatever. So the question can be updated regularly so that they can uh, have different challenges for them. And fun facts, so for different the theories to learn about the Singapore uh, hawker culture. So we have, we put in a few uh, main uh, criteria for the fun facts, so and it can be updated as well. So an FAQ, so this FAQ, why we have this is because for the platform, it's really need to be user-centric where I think when we share our app, a lot of them screenshot the location error for us. That's where we have the 
uh, FAQ, like how do you turn on location access in Android and iOS devices, right? So sometimes they say iOS, I really turn on location access, but it's in fact, it's just the Safari that you need to turn on. It's not just the general. So that's why we made the video for that. And also we put in some other uh, related uh, things like how do you use the CDC voucher, which announced recently. And finally, it's uh, uh, this trending news. So if they are uh, browsing through, they can have this trending news to, to browse. So, and also this is our user experience survey. So we have a Google form to, for our users. So about more than 80% they find you easy to use. And well, it's about 65% they will share, uh, they, they, find, they will use this app, okay, to, to find for their next hawker center. And also uh, about more than, uh, I think more than 70% they will share, recommend this chatbot to their friend. And uh, finally, some of the additional feature they like is like food ordering and then some menu and prices loyalty point and then finally uh, our future plan will be more like quite quite a few future plans so like food ordering and delivery create a scanning device for live update and some english translation and food discovery trail also filter by a range of price and also respond more personal and specific by analyzing the input key by user because so far a lot of my friends their feedback is like, it's just a clipboard it's not a chatbot Right, so that's why, like, if you have, I'm a keto diet now. Any recommendation for dinner nearby? I'm a budget prefer less than twenty. Wow, this is a lot of intelligence needed. So that's why for my chatbot right now, we don't have that features to incorporate it in. Yeah. So uh, some of the appendix is that yeah. So some of the uh feedback from our friends. So yeah, some of them they ask for cafe and coffee terms. They didn't realize the uh, hawker center is incorporated. Uh, is is uh handled by the NEA. Yeah. And yeah, thanks. So maybe let me quickly just, uh, I think I still have some time. Maybe I'll just bring you through my app. Okay. You have less than one minute, but you can just go through very quickly. Okay, okay, yeah. So basically this is the, the real app right now. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah. so I will just keep on nearby Hawker Center. So I'm right now in the circuit road. So this is a street view and then Hala. Okay, I also have the incorporated some share buttons. And okay, so some of the feedback also is that, like, can I just search for the area? Let's say Bukit Dima, right? So what, what is the food over there, right? Oh, that I, that's why I made some keyword search so that uh, these are some of the uh, hawker center in the words because some of them, they like to type instead of uh, buttons, right? Yeah, and then so if let's say you want to, to have some prawn noodles, so it will directly have a recommendation. So where is it and so on. So yeah, so some of these are still work in progress in like for some of the keyword search up because uh, mainly I was focusing on the buttons initially. Yeah, so and of course, uh, finally it's uh, like about us. So uh, this is our team and yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Vincent. Jagas? Good work, Vincent. I think this is a, a really good bot. I think you've, you've really th thought it through in terms of uh, user interface and so on. Uh, I do agree with your, 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 your people's comments. I think that the bot can be improved in terms of how the information is accessed rather than just simple, you know, uh, Indian or Chinese food or, you know, uh, stuff like that, right? Uh, but what I really think you guys did really well was uh, how you presented the results once they were up already, right? So knowing that this certain hawker center closes at a certain time, I think that was very useful. Uh, having a picture that you guys took as well is also, also uh, pretty useful as well. Because, you know, you get a feel about the store itself. And I think on a few of them, you had uh, pictures of the food itself. That was also pretty good too. So that, that kind of stuff is very hard to replicate and, and do well uh, unless you go there and visit, right? And uh, I think... And not having a large selection is not a bad thing either because, you know, it's really the best of the best that you want to select and really uh, showcase, right? Rather than having a thousand different uh, hawkers and put up, right? So I think a good job, really good job. Thank you, thank you. I think it's an awesome effort. I think your group must give yourself a big round of applause. Yeah, yeah so yeah, all the way from the, the conceptualizing of your logo, you know, the bow idea into, like, I like some of the details that you thought of, like, you know, uh, closure, uh, because it's for cleaning. This is some, some information I personally also went through. 
a visitor of Hawker Centre is closed for cleaning. You know, where, where do you get such information? Yeah, so uh, these data thoughts are something that make your, you know, your, your chatbot stand out. So I think, yeah, awesome effort. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, for me, yeah, I'm Vincent here. So, hey, hi, uh, Vincent. Yeah, of course, I think uh, I, I learned quite a lot from this. So not just from the small joke itself where I searched the line, how do I embed all the map and so on, and also the HTML, CSS, how to enable some of the features. Yeah. So it, it, it took me quite some time, but I mean, I enjoyed the learning process to uh, to, to enable all this. Uh, yeah, like, but I didn't know that uh, can do the uh, embedding of the Google map in here as well. All that, uh, so and and also when i mean when i started to learn this it, it's actually it's a bit quite struggling but when you click it in a way i think from some of the explanation here and there then you will understand uh how how how, how it works so yeah i mean the 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 feeling of like uh how do you say is that learning something is very great here yeah like from the idea so our ideation as a start until that like, we have this uh, product right now, which I think it still can be expand. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty great within this uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah. So definitely it's a lot of the learning points right here that I think it's worth to share. Yeah. <laughs> so it's from an idea to the creation, you know, yeah. in less than two weeks, which is like, yeah, which is like pretty awesome. Uh, yes, you know? yes. Yeah. Uh, and also interaction mm. with my groups said they are very supportive and so on all that, right? So like when, whenever I ask them to, for something, then they would just say, oh, okay, here, I'm here. I, I, I can do it for you, all that. So so this kind of uh, work, I think is, I, I'm mm. actually pretty much encouraged by my team member as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we fully encourage uh, peer-to-peer learning also. Yeah. I'm just curious, Um, is there an API for the Google reviews? Like for example, we, we search, uh, let's say a hawker store, right? I mean, yeah. in Google, we can see the reviews. Is that yeah, actually, reviews? actually, they have like just that I didn't incorporate it right now for the reviews because it's a there's a place API like, which uh, I mean it will take some more time to learn how to get it. So there's a place API that uh, can use. So I think that might require. I'm not too sure whether there's a maybe a free version, then maybe a little paid version yeah, of that, and then even oh. the reviews and some of the, mm-hmm. the the opening and closing. But I mean for for that, I I I would say it's still not reliable because it's not localized, right? So then some of the information up there might not be updated so of course then that's our group thing of like iot devices or even the app so that the, if let's say deploy in, in large scale for example then all this can be like a, a practice for the hawker owners to update it or whatever to, to refer it to the server to be more accurately even install the uh, iot devices on the store itself when they open or close the lights or whatever then they know that they are operating right yeah so that, that's just a wild talk from us yeah yeah one suggestion would be like um, really go niche, like just focus on uh, hawker food. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that, just that, hawker. That really that's like, yeah, just yeah. hawker. <laughs> Yeah, that's why actually when we when we uh ask around for some feedback, they said, wow, this the nearby hawker is so far away. My downstairs also got the uh, copy time radio. Then that's why that's where we educate them. Copy time is not hawker. Yeah. So <laughs> even though they they provide food, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a bit of a uh, different. That I mean, I, I was uh, it's a good learning for all this. Uh, yeah. Um. And drum roll, the, uh, uh, what do you say? Number one, okay. Number one for this competition is Hawker Go Wear, right? You guys, I mean, come on, right? The kind of effort that you guys have put into this and making it to a useful board is just amazing, right? They, they actually took their own photographs and uh, put in their own database. And I think that the bot itself is actually to a place where it can really be useful. Right, so kudos to you guys.